Hello, this is Jason McConnell, and this quick tip covers a simple distress texture for an illustrator using crumpled paper and Photoshop. I first get in a really crumpled up piece of paper, and in my case I used 72 ppi for the resolution, and I also scanned it in as grayscale. Next, go up to Image, Adjustments, and then Threshold. If you move the slider to the right, you'll see that some of the shadow of the crumpled paper starts coming back and that'll be our distress texture and you don't want to go too far otherwise you'll get a little bit too much distress going so that's about good for me I'll hit OK okay the next thing that you have to do is change the color mode to bitmap just go to image mode bitmap now if you scanned in your image as RGB you'll first have to change the mode to grayscale and then you can get to bitmap the output will be whatever resolution you chose. In my case, I scanned it in at 72 pixels per inch, which is probably fine for distress. And the method to use, it really doesn't matter because we already changed it to a black and white using threshold. But I typically will choose 50% threshold and then hit OK. OK, now we have to save this. Go to File, Save As. And we'll save it as a TIFF. You could save it as a PSD file, but we'll keep it as a TIFF. Hit Save. For image compression, most of the time you're going to want to choose LZW. It'll make a much smaller file without distorting it. Then hit OK. All right, now let me close Photoshop. And we'll use that texture in Illustrator. All right, so we'll go to File, Place. Choose the crumpled paper TIFF file, hit place, and because it's a bitmap, we can just change the color like that. And you can move it around, you can adjust the size of it and crunch it to get a little bit of a different look, get the distress in the place you want. And that's how you create a simple bitmap texture using crumpled paper and Photoshop.